Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Neosprint. This is a game that's coming to Steam on June 27th, 2024. This is a preview build. I'm recording this about two weeks prior to release, so what you're looking at should be reflective of the finished product, but there might be a last minute patch or two that might address some things. But overall, I had a pretty seamless experience. There's both single player and multiplayer, which is great. Although multiplayer is not online, it's all local. You'll need a ton of controllers hooked up. It supports up to eight people. So if you've got a lot of people over, you can play, assuming you've got a lot of controllers all plugged in. There's campaign, Grand Prix, free race, obstacle course, and time trial. The Grand Prix is kind of like in Mario Kart where you play a series of courses, and based on, you know, if you finish first place, second place, third place, you get points, and then at the end of it, whoever's the most points wins, obstacle courses, and the like. You can even pick a variety of different courses. Uh, there's a course builder in this game. So what's cool is that you can either, you know, build your own courses, or you can download creations that other people have created. And likewise, you could upload your own if you're that kind of person. So I love the fact that, you know, there's a lot of replayability here because you'll be able to, you know, both create and share and download other creations. You'll get a lot of playtime out of this, I think. Um, as far as like car selection, different things like that, there's like, I want to say eight or nine cars, each with their own attributes. Uh, there's acceleration, top speed, and turn speed, so uh, you'll find the model of car that suits you best. You can pick the color and so on, but yeah, if you're going to play multiplayer, it has to be local or split screen, and uh, you're going to need a lot of controllers for that. There's also a huge collection catalog. Um, there's no permanent progression, like you can't level up these cars and make them better, but you can unlock a lot of things, uh, mainly for the course builder. Um, you're going to need to play the campaign, the time trials, the obstacle course, basically everything in this game. Like, even if you want to play tracks and free play, you have to first play them and beat them in the campaign or whatever in order to play them in free play. So start with the campaign and then finish that and then do the time trials and the obstacle courses to unlock all the extra goodies, if you're that kind of person. Um, as far as like the races themselves, you can set them up. I think the maximum number of laps was like 10, which is pretty good, but it's, it's a fast game, so nothing to worry about there. You can set a lot of computer players, uh, easy, normal, hard difficulty settings. There are hazards you can toggle on or off. You can't choose what type, unfortunately, but there's that. Um, and then you can choose your daytime, you know, like morning, afternoon, evening. And like I was indicating earlier, you know, you can choose the model of car, but you can't like, you can't upgrade it. I, I vaguely remember a game from my childhood, uh, Super Off-Road, I think it was. It was trucks rather than cars. And I had this for the NES. And in the campaign, as you played, you got to put points into upgrading your truck. That's one thing I really would have liked to have seen here. Yeah, there, there's different vehicles, which is great. They have different attributes, great. Um, but, you know, being in 2024, it would have been cool to maybe add some permanent progression to single player. Maybe not for multiplayer, because then, you know, you'd be facing people with top-notch cars or whatever. But maybe for single player, maybe maybe a campaign where you're, you're start at the bottom of the the wrong and you have to work your way up and upgrade your cars you do that would have been that would have been cool but this game is a lot more arcadey in the way it is presented and played now as far as the actual gameplay is concerned i'm i'm very happy with it um the handling felt just right um i loved just how how easy it was to maneuver my car um in the accessibility options you can actually put a little selection box around your car I have trouble seeing, so I had to toggle it on. I couldn't tell the difference sometimes between the cars. So it was very nice that that accessibility option actually existed. So um, you can toggle that on or off in the options menu. There is also the ability to turn the view so that it's either the entire track all the time, like in Super Off-Road, um, or you can have it follow your car, like in RC Program, which is... RC Pro-Am was another game for the uh, NES that I played. And to be honest with you, I, I really couldn't, e even though it was zoomed in and it was easier to see my car, the camera was very shaky. Like I, it was, it would stutter and make me a little nauseous. I, 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 if the camera was a bit smoother and dirt didn't jerk around so much in this particular view, 
I would have stayed in this view to be honest with you, but because the camera was just, it was just like it, when it reached the end of the screen or whatever, it just, it kept, it kept, I don't know, shaking. It just, it made me nauseous. So I didn't really care for that viewpoint, even though I think it's important to have it in the game. So you can pick which one you like. Uh, for motion sick people, I recommend the zoomed out version where you can see the entire course and the camera remains static at all times. But yeah, course variety definitely there i had a great time with it um i i want to play more part of me wants to like play to unlock all of the collectibles but that's going to take quite a while i think because the campaign is like you play a series of courses the grand prix you play a series of courses um you know obstacle courses time trials and there's just so much to do um that being said like it's not like super mario kart where you know, there are blue shells and red shells and banana peels. Um, yeah, the, the the worst thing that's going to happen to you in this game is, you know, you, you hit something, you flip over, and then you respawn. That's, like, the worst thing that could happen to you. Like, there's there's no really cutthroat, uh, cutthroat, you know, superpowers here. You know, you can't gun people down as you're driving by like you can in other racing games. So it's very mild. So again, it reminds me of an older style racing game, RC Pro-Am, Super Off-Road, um, games, you know, that were meant to be family friendly, you know, way back when. And, and that's that's the feel that I got here. Um, the only, again, the only complaints that I have really uh, is the lack of, you know, some kind of permanent progression in, in the campaign mode for your car. And as well as, you know, this the whole camera view, the one camera view anyway, I, di I didn't care for that zoomed in one but uh with the variety of the different courses and the fact that you can build your own courses that's really cool and by default there's quite a bit of courses in the game already uh it's just you have to unlock them by playing the game so that being said do i recommend it unfortunately the game like, I never get a price ever. I don't know what it is. Maybe prices are always embargoed to the last second. But I, I always double check my press email. Is there a price in my press email? This time, and of course not. There wasn't. So I do not know what the price is going to be. So it's very hard to either recommend it or not. If this turns out to be a $50 price tag, I'm going to say no. If this turns out to be a reasonable 10, 15 bucks, uh, you know, I, then I could recommend it. I have a feeling it's going to be like 15 ish, 20 ish. If it's more, I'd be very surprised. But you never know. It's the it, today's economy; everything's inflated, um, and it's Atari. So you know, we'll see. We'll see what the price looks like. If the price is good for you, and you liked old style, old school racing games, then I do recommend it. Well, this is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.